And this gave me fresh hope. I found that our ship lay so on the reef that only half of her was filled with water. The forward parts were dry, and there I found powder and weapons, and provisions. I discovered the carpenter's chest, and being a gentleman, I had little experience with the tools of the trade. Nevertheless, there and then, I resolved that I would learn. The ship's longboat had been dashed to pieces by the storm, but I found a part of an upper deck torn away. I used this as a makeshift raft. Thanks to an incoming tide and a gentle breeze, my modest craft took me straight away to shore. I began to feel not a little proud of my achievements so far. And so I reckoned my fortunes were on the up. I had provisions for a month or more, tools and good timber, even good company in the captain's old dog, Skipper. There you go, Skipper. as time went by, I began to grow even fond of my island kingdom. I have not been idle with my time on the island. Even so, my thoughts continually turn to the life I left behind. About to hear is the sweetest sound in the whole world. Hmm? The spirit of Scotland. <laughs> <laughs> 